The dark clouds in the Chennai sky on Friday did not predict a good fortune for Indian sports. On the same day that cricket hero Sachin Tendulkar made what was probably his last ever performance on the field as the legendary batsman he is, in the Hyatt Regency Hotel, chess world champion Viswanathan Anand lost his first game in a world championship match to challenger Magnus Carlsen. Starting the game with the English opening, the 22-year-old Norwegian wonder boy played chess like he likes it, getting a small but long-term advantage out of the opening and grinding down the opponent in the end game, profiting from small inaccuracies by the opponent. In an ending with rooks and same colored bishops, Anand chose an active plan which seemed fine, but at the press conference he had his doubts. Probably affected by the feeling that he made a mistake, the Indian could not find the best defense in the rook ending. Um, yeah, I think um, it was a relatively interesting opening. I, I think it went quite well for me, I, I got some advantage. Um, and then, well, I think I misplayed it a little bit in the middle game and it didn't really materialize and at some point I missed um, missed his rook d4 on move 34 and I was worried that I might even be worse. It turned out it was a little bit more more difficult to hold than than I'd thought. Uh, I'd, I don't know exactly where he could hold it but I think when we got this rook end ending uh, it's very very difficult and um, after I get a5 it's, it's definitely lost. I mean, somehow my counterplay didn't materialize. I thought maybe I should just go rook g8, and I think this was maybe the decisive mistake. There are many continuations. Uh, it's, um, I mean, there might have been small inaccuracies, but I think rook d4 looked strong, but turned out to be a mistake. Somehow I um, missed uh, that in the rook ending, it's so difficult. I mean, it looks like I have, I, I thought I should be able to generate counterplay, but it wasn't possible. Uh -huh. it, it was good. Um, it was, um, I mean, it was a fight, good fighting game, uh, kind of messy at times, but um, I mean, I, I got there in the end, so I'm very, very happy about that. We spoke to Torbjörn Ringdahl Hansen, the very first personal trainer of Carlsen when he was nine years old. Hansen trained the young Carlsen a bit over a year. I think this was a great game, a typical Magnus game, very got this end game and squeezed squeezed out of uh, out of win that was great uh, i even uh, when he got exchanged uh, queens i thought this was kind of typical magnus position and i thought i'd seen him win such so many games like this and i thought he had a good chance but uh, i followed with the computer and i also saw when uh, anand didn't play rook a1 and uh, magnus found the right moves i was kind of confident I was the first trainer. I wasn't the one who taught him the moves, but I uh, was, was his first personal trainer. And uh, that was when he was nine years old and a little bit more than one year I teached him. He picked up everything I said extremely quickly. And uh, one of these students, I only have to tell things once and then he understands it. And uh, I was just amazed by how quickly he progressed. and. Uh, how easy it was to teach him, not only that he remembered everything, but that he was so open to learn um, new things and he tried it out in uh, the next game immediately. Some people are real chess players, they kind of love every kind of position and I think he's one of, the, one of these. One of India's strongest grandmasters, Abhijit Gupta, also gave his opinion about the game and announced chances. Well, I'm pretty upset like the way Anand lost because it, it seemed like a drawish end game although he was slightly worse the whole time but a uh, player of his caliber should have drawn this game and uh, yeah I'm sl sl slightly disappointed but I think he's going to bounce back like what he did against Topolo and Gelfan. Yeah, you still have faith in the outcome? No, oh, of course. I mean it's only five games there are seven more games to go and anything can happen. I think the next games he should just uh, keep on playing like he... Uh, he did so far, uh, put pressure on, on, on not being defensive, I think that's his best chance, even if he's got uh, some chances to make quick draws or something like this, he should just keep on playing like he did. I think if you do that, the chances are bigger for 2-0 than 1-1. Uh,